we're going to talk uh, today about Indian spices, you know, uh, a big question mark uh, when we walk into an Indian store is what this colorful uh, part of the store uh, stands for and where to use it. We're going to essentially talk about the four basic spices that make up Indian food. They would be coriander, cumin, turmeric, and uh, of course chili. What we have here is coriander seeds. If we keep plucking the uh, cilantro leaves and yet leave the plant on, keep it growing, uh, these are the seeds which are then sun-dried and, uh, and then you know, used as a spice. The most common uh, way to keep them in an Indian household would be either whole or toasted and crushed. And then they are powdered on a weekly basis. Uh, and that's, that's what I would suggest for most spices, for most Indian spices to uh, toast and keep them and then powder them as and when you need them. Because powdering, uh, what toasting does is, is brings out the essential oils in the spices, so it accentuates the, the real character of the spice. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, if you, if you powder too much and keep, it, the, it, the flavor naturally keeps kind of uh, you know, oozing out. However airtight, that's, that's what I believe. And there's, there's yeah, I mean, even, even if it's as airtight as you want it to be, if, if, you, want, if you want to taste fresh Indian food, then you, you, know, you have to grind spices when you need them. The other one, uh, the other spice that uh, is very commonly used in India, this is the white cumin. This is the most uh, common household cumin. And then there's a dark cumin, or uh, it's also called royal cumin, which uh, essentially is a very northwest frontier spice. It is really strong, and it really uh, marries well with all red meats. But this is what you would normally find in an Indian household. I mean, uh, technically, it's white cumin. The same, the same uh, method, you know, lightly broil it or toast it, uh, you know, or just quickly uh, toss it in a pan and then grind it. The other uh, most common spice that, the most basic spice that's used in Indian food is turmeric. Turmeric is actually, it's a rhizome, it's, it's, uh, it grows under the soil that's the natural color so if I mean it's basically the rhizome crushed and powdered really fine into uh, into this turmeric has a lot of uh, almost all spices have have very holistic uh, properties to them uh, turmeric is uh, the most commonly used spice for holistic uh, properties back home for you know home remedies as we as we as we call them uh, turmeric promotes internal healing it promotes uh, blood purification. It promotes. Uh, it it induces. Uh, they say if people are not like, uh, if people are irregular sleepers, they uh, they drink turmeric in in milk. Also now uh, with the modern research in uh, in medicine, turmeric is also considered a big uh, anti carcinogenic. The other most commonly used spice is the the chili powder. Now that's the heat part. Chili powder is essentially powdered red chili peppers. There are more than uh, 75 recorded varieties of chili peppers in India. Uh, what essentially varies is the, is the uh, heat and the color. The chili peppers up north are uh, way more colorful and way less intense or pungent. As we move uh, down south, they, get, they keep getting, they're getting smaller, but but uh, yeah, I mean, they have uh, they keep getting hotter as well. Um, in in the east, there's there's a chili pepper called the bird's eye chili or kunkuni, and it's supposed to be uh, it's it's actually uh, you know the size of two match two two matchstick heads put together, and it's supposed to be spicier than uh, eating two jalapenos. Now, any basic Indian spice mix would include these four spices that we talked about. If you're starting off with Indian food, this is the safest bet. You, know, you pick up your uh, coriander, pick up your cumin, pick up uh, the chili powder and the turmeric. Uh, the most common used spice mix in Indian food is the garam masala. It's, it's, you know, it's, just, it's a spice powder. 
what goes into it is uh, is a mix of a normal household garam masala would be a mix of 10 to 12 spices but uh, it, it varies from region to region household to household and you know, uh, and recipe to recipe that's been passed down essentially it is all, all these spices that we talked about minus the turmeric and then we add uh, more flavorful spices for for accents you know like the black cardamom the spices that we're going to talk about now are accentuating spices or the more flavorful uh, spices which which are used in lesser quantities uh, but they they are actually what differentiate uh, you know uh, a good spice from a, a good spice mix from a bad spice mix or a well balanced spice mix from uh, you know just another spice mix fennel seeds fennel seeds in indian cuisine are are used in a variety of ways from being used as a powder in the spice mix to being used whole in desserts uh, they are also candied they're put in rock candies and uh, that that comes from the fact that fennel uh, has a lot of has a good digestive has good digestive properties fenugreek seeds are uh, used for astringency they're used for uh, they use very little in any spice mix because they're, they're bitter but they're very astringent and they add that that astringent kick uh, to food these are fenugreek leaves leaves of the same plant obviously uh, they are used this is the most commonly used spice in the chicken tikka masala they're very earthy and they go very well with tomatoes the other most common uh, spice that you know that really blends well with other spices and also goes really well on its own are the onion seeds again they're, they're astringent but they're not as bitter as, as fenugreek and they're way more uh, they're, they're way more intense and flavorful so what what essentially we covered today was the basic Indian spices demystifying you know the the spice rack uh, essentially like I said before, Indian spices are not about heat. They're about they're about aroma. They're about character. They're about they're about harmonizing, mixing with each other. So don't be afraid to pick up the Indian spices from the from the next time you visit an Indian grocery store. Uh, you know, mix them, keep adding to them, and uh, using them in your food.